2023 was very shaky for Vilasa industry. We have seen lots of ups and downs. But what about 2024? It's gonna good, bad or mixed. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 8 action points which can make your 2024 a wonderful year. If you are seeing me for the first time, myself Rasdeep Majumdar and I am a VLSI engineer. And if you love to see video around VLSI industry, electronics industry, then you can consider subscribing to my channel. And all other subscribers, please like this video and let's get started. So see, before we, I give you those 8 action points, let us see what is the market outlook was the predictions of 2024. So according to this report from Markets and Markets, the industry gonna grow from 528 billion to 616 billion and there is a 16% of year to year growth. So it's a huge actually. And if we see this report from KPMG, their report is not so positive for 2024. Like it is as it, as it is same as 2023 later part. Later part for 2023 was good. So it is kind of like that only 2024. But there is one interesting fact they have mentioned here and that is this line. Talent pressure mounting. So what they, they, they are explaining here and that is all the top companies are actually very much worried about the retentions of their talents and also how to get more talent because talent shortage is there. A good news for us who are seeking a job in BLSI industry. So what they are doing, they are doing university partnership. You have seen Micron have done already university partnership. There are many other uh, MNCs, I don't know exactly. So which in summary mean that yeah, 2024 is positive then 2023 first half first half was very much rocky after it got uh, like we, we are out of bottom but this is my analysis don't take it seriously but the main thing is that markets are not in our hand right the only things in our hand and that is the confident you should have the confidence that hey if 10 percent of workforce 10 percent of potential vlsi engineer in india are getting employed then i will be on that 10 percent don't say hey 90 percent are not getting placed so i will also not will won't be getting it placed right i don't want this from my subscriber my subscriber should be in those top 10 percent and for sure will have more more than 10 percent of placements so you are in a good place you are in a safe place you don't need to worry now to make you market ready, I have 8 action points in this video. So the first action point is the most important action point. You can ignore all other action points, but first action point you must take. So from January 2024, you might be on your second semester or in your fourth semester or you are on your eight semesters, right? MTech also say likewise, second or fourth. So if you are in your second semester or in your fourth semester, then the most important thing and that is to see your basic subjects. I have said it many times, but I am again and again iterating it because it is so much important. Don't go behind here and there, that thing and those things. The BTEC syllabus is enough. Those fundamental subjects are enough to build the great pathway or great track for your VLSI dream. So now, if you are in your 6th semester or in your 8th semester, for 8th semester and 6th semester, uh, actually for 8th semester we don't have much scope, I'll tell you what you can do, but for 6th and 4th semester, if you are trying to understand some advanced topic, right, uh, in VLSI domain or in any domain, and you are unable to understand it, first point is that find out what point you are not getting in, right, there might be some dependencies. For example, if you want to know semiconductor physics in depth or fabrication technology in depth, then there is a dependency on your maths, right? If you want to learn very long, then there is a dependency on your digital electronics. And likewise, we have a lot of dependency. If you want, I will make one separate video where I'll talk about what are the dependency you have to learn those VLSI subjects. But for now, I I'm just ignoring that. So if you are facing any difficulty understanding advanced topic, then roll back yourself to the basic subjects. It's all okay. Don't worry. Roll back to basic subject. Start with semiconductor physics. It's okay. Start with basic electronic cir circuits, KBL, KCL. Because if you don't start now, then you will just waste your time because you will never be able to understand advanced topic without those basic subjects. And from where you can start those 
in NPTEL, there are a lot of basic level course. You have your professor, you have your uh, friends, but if they are not helping you, then NPTEL is all, all there. In YouTube also, we have lots of resources, right? But if you are in your second semester, then you are now reading those basic subjects. So for you, it's very much important. Keep making notes. And uh, if your professor are not as much good as you are expecting, then NPTEL is there again, right? So refer NPTEL, like learn from different resources and make a consolidated note. It is, that is very important. Don't make a note like you will throw it out after the semester is over. It's very, very wrong actually. You must make a notes which you can carry forward for your gate preparation for your MTech and even in the industry. So likewise, you make a notes which could be the permanent one. Okay. Now, if you are in your eighth semester, then the only suggestion from my side is that forget about VLSI, those things. Just try to get a good IT job, one IT job at least in a big MNCs like Wipro, TCS or CGI or like that. Not in the startup because in startup, you won't be getting any time to l learn on your own for switching to VLSI industry. I have done this same that thing because when I was in my seventh semester, I know nothing about VLSI electronics. So at that time, the only option I had get a job go there and then prepare. If you are in a sixth semester also and you think that uh, your basics are really not good and now you don't have time, then for you also I have the same suggestion at, as the eighth semester can follow. So you also just now forget about everything and try to get a, as good CGP as you can by uh, getting easy elective subjects, by taking easy elective subjects and get a IT job in good MNCs. So that is the first action point for all of you. And MTech people also can follow likewise, like if you're in second semester, try out fundamentals. And if you are in a fourth semester, then the main thing is that you need to get a job. But for MTech, I have more specific instruction in later part of this video. Now the second action point, and that is optional, but it would be a good one if you are not studying from a top tier colleges. Now top tier colleges have many definitions. So if you are from your colleges, you can see a lot of your seniors are getting placed to VLSI industry, then you can consider your colleges top tier. But if you are saying no, there are only one or two who are getting placed to VLSI industry or through off campus only, not any, there is no opportunity in the on campus, then this hackathon part is very important. In 2024, you must try to attend at least one hackathon one VLSI hackathon, not coding hackathon. Okay, coding hackathon is also required, but I will I will tell you that VLSI hackathon is the main thing. You should try it out. How do you know then who, that when a VLSI hackathon is coming up? So for that, you need to be informed because VLSI hackathons are not so much glamorous ones. So many people don't know about that. In my channel, I try to um, give you notification anytime I know. Sometimes I also miss many hackathons dates, okay? But there are few hackathons which happen every year and one of the hackathon I will specially tell you to uh, like aim for and that is hackathon by IIT Bombay and they have one of their organization called FOSI here O stand for open source so they mostly every year they conduct many hackathon uh, in coding also in VLSI also lastly they have organized this one mixed signal SOC design so that was a a re really great hackathon so you can bookmark this site you can keep on visiting this site you can uh, follow their uh, social pages and then you will get a notification so here one thing you need to know and that is most of their hackathon are done through eSIM so what is eSIM? eSIM is nothing um, but but it's a automation tool in the VLSI like open road we have so, okay RTL to DDS flow so you have some time because they are most of their hackathon happen in the after March or in the June, July. So you have roughly three months of time. In three months of time, you can try to learn this eSIM. What is all about eSIMs? Okay. So they have many examples here. I, I will also give you this link. So here they also have many example projects or previous year projects. You can try it out. You can also find out the GitHub pages of previous submission, right? So in GitHub pages, you'll get all the detail how they install eSIM. So you can try to install eSIM. You can request me to make videos on eSIM, but I, I am not uh, giving you any promise, but I'll try. So this hackathon can be taken by anybody. But yeah, if you are in your eighth semester, don't go for it. And if you are in your fourth semester of MTech, then also you don't go for it. Now uh, getting a placement is most important. Now the third action point and which is a very common one. I won't take much time and that is <sighs> delete all your social media app and only install LinkedIn. And in LinkedIn also don't spend full day. Just 
uh, keep a calendar in calendar just keep a 20 minutes of time slots and keep visiting linkedin every day keep improving your profile your interest like managing your linkedin right and try it out many tricks and tricks about linkedin and how we can uh, leverage the benefit of linkedin to get the jobs now the fourth major action point like first action point fourth action point is also very much important and it is valid for all of you other than the final year guys a semester and fourth semester m tech and that is in 2024 listen it clearly i'm again telling you don't see here and there concentrate on my eyes in 2024 you need to register at least two NPTEL course. Register means you need to finish it, you need to get a certification, not only register and done, no. So in 2024, we have two semester. So in first January semester, everything is already out, all the list of courses. You can register one of the courses, at least you can go for two, three. And on July, again, another, okay. So these two, you need to, irrespective of what you want to do okay this is very important really anytime i i go to nptl site now i just feel myself that hey what i have done during my vtech right i want to be a vtech student again to learn those wonderful courses from nptl wonderful professors you have the time so don't miss it out and to motivate you i will also have one giveaway it's not a giveaway but one motivation factor and that is i have a web website called whyari.in so in my website, I'll make a tab, separate tab where I'll write like will size stars or something like that. I'll make a tabs and in that tab, I will feature you, anybody of you who got 80% or more with your photo, with your detail, everything, everything there. Okay. And all the detail, how to submit your entry, uh, I'll, I'll publish in the March of 2024 because by March, your exam will start in NPTEL for January semester. So that time I'll give you all the details. I have already made one video here about uh, what are the courses you can take in NPTEL January 2024. I'm gonna make another video uh, in two, three days where I'll tell you more beautiful courses you can take in January 2024 NPTEL. And this January 2024 NPTEL, we have really wonderful courses. So don't miss my next video. And in NPTEL, you must be registering with paying the fee of 1000 rupees it is free to see all the courses but why i'm telling you to go for exam because one thing is that you will solve many of the assignments because you need to get a good marks because you are writing the exam also with the exam you'll get the feedback but the most important thing and that is the bad thing about free courses free courses are great really great but the problem is that free courses are great only for a people who are highly motivated right but if you are not a highly motivated person then it is always a great idea to spend some money and then that money will become the motivational factor to continue that courses there are many statistics are there actually why paid courses like most of the people finish a paid course then a free course i have my own example so anytime i register for a nptl i pay the amount so that i can finish it up now the next action point and it's very much important for mtech guys for btech guys you can take it as optional but for mtech guys it's very important that is reading i triple e journal so in 2024 you promise yourself that you will read at least 12 i triple e journal in last five years which are released in last five years so 2023 is now so 2018 onward so from 2018 to 2023, at least 12 release IEEE journal on any topic you are interested in. For example, you are interested in digital circuit design or you want to design a multiplier or you want to um, um, do the FFT algorithm in the VLSI in the hardware specific part. So you can see the um, journals released on those topic and after you see those 12 journals on the same topic or two three different topic you will have a different idea from your inside that how you can implement the same circuit in some different way and that might result into a new publications so it's very important but if it won't become a like new publication then also you'll have lot of idea to build your own project out of those three um, those 12 i believe paper you can just take one which you feel the best one and you can try to copy it in your idea tool and get the same result so in this section point what you will do you're gonna read at least 12 i journal 
and from those you will try to make at least two three good projects and if you are in your VTEC then you can not 12 you can go for six IEEE journals and read them and at least try to copy one of the IEEE paper to make your own projects because projects are very important for getting into VLSI industry right so the next action point is for the senior guys in VTEC and for MTech guys and that is you must be attending at least one conference on VLSI or in electronic design in India right so how to find it out we have many sites actually for example we have this one uh, conference alert we can also go for this conference locate.com or if you know some good site where we can get notification for uh, upcoming conference then please, please comment them down so here see in, in this uh, conference locator in india in 2024 they are listing currently the five conference so you can search out one which is nearest to you and where you can submit at least one conference paper. Conference paper are a bit of easy than a peer review journal paper publications, but you can request your professor to help you, or if you already have done some project, you can uh, just show it to your professor and they can give you some idea how you can modify it so that you can present the paper. So the main objective of this is that with attending any conference, you will get a lot of confidence. It will definitely add value to your CV, but the confidence is main thing. In interview, from my own experience, I have seen that the knowledge is important, but if you can deliver that knowledge using confidence, then that make most in impact. So that's why this is very important. Also, if you are attending any conference, then you will be knowing many things about industry, what is going on currently, and which is again, directly or indirectly will help you. So now the eight, action point and that is again very important for mostly for BTEC student and that is you can prepare for gate 2024 it is not for that hey you're gonna write mtech you're gonna go for mtech but preparing for gate is the best way to get into vlsi industry and many people will say hey better than preparing for gate you should join a vlsi training institute that is a sure short uh, way to get into vlsi industry and i can make a, another 30 minutes video discussing on gate versus VLSI training institute if you want it comment it down but in summary from my side the best idea would be preparing for gate then VLSI training institute because VLSI training institute the problem is that one thing is that it it include a huge money in gate preparing for gate also you can go for self-study but if you join a coaching institute that also have a huge money factor around 50,000 uh, yeah in 50,000 mostly you'll get any coaching institute but for VLSI training institute yeah 40,000 50,000 up to 1 lakhs we have but the main drawback of VLSI training institute and that is if I want to give you an analogy for example you want to uh, learn guitar okay and you went to um, training institutes one training institute will tell you hey we will make you learn three Arijit songs in 10 days and another institute is telling you no we won't let you know how to um, uh, like strum Arijit sing uh, Arijit songs but we'll make you learn the music okay so what is better for you it's depend on your perspective actually for me learning music is more important than only learning how to strum three origin sing songs but it again depend like if you want a sure short and quick solution then vlsi training institute it's great but again this is not a video i'll make a separate video but from my side i will always prefer preparing for gate so you can take seven action point and that is you can start preparing for gate 2025 now the last action point and which is very important actually not directly actually it's directly and that is your health mental and the physical health that is most important actually most important action point you can do anything but if your mind your body can't support you you won't enjoy those benefits right so try exploring spend one hour each day to do something around those your mental and your physical health if you want some video how i can do uh, on my health physical mental then i'm happy to make one but you need to comment it down and in future i'll make one so here you can see the video i had made on nptl january 2024 part one video part two videos are coming very soon and till then have a happy new year